All right, we're on our way to Bodie Ghost Town, and this is our second attempt. We tried two days before. We got to where we were making new tracks in the snow. The snow was pretty deep, and we really couldn't get any further. That day when we were out there, it was on a Friday, and there was no one out there. We never saw another vehicle in the over an hour and a half that we were on the road trying to get to the ghost town. So this is the weekend now, Sunday, and we're gonna give it another shot. We're gonna have to help them. <laughs> oh, me. All right, so here's what's going on. <laughs> Two vehicles are stuck up here. And luckily, got a couple of, I think they're Mercedes SUVs back there, and they're prepared too. We have a winch as well. So we're gonna try to, I think, winch them out the forerunner there's another vehicle we can't see it but it's way up the hill not sure how far they went and if they're stuck frankly but two out of the three here are stuck getting the winch together quite an adventure. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if you need to do you need to move the do you need to move the Jeep up more or are you okay there? Once you get to here you need some momentum. Yeah. I Okay. Go forward. Forward. Crank. Here you go. There you go. Back up. Yeah. Hold, hold on this. Stop right there. Yeah. No, no, no. Oh. Up more, guys. Oh. Oh. We got all the vehicles uh, unstuck and had them go to the bottom of the little hill here where it flattens out to get them turned around so they could head back out the way they came in. We got the 4Runner and the Mazda turned around. The BMW had the worst traction and we kind of gave up on getting it turned around and are going to pull it out backwards. They've got to go back out. They can't go any further down. We know from being out here two days before that the snow just gets deeper the further back. So the only solution is for them to come back out the way they came in. So I'm going to back the Jeep up the hill, get it out of the way so the three vehicles can get out and get on their way.
he's walking up. Yeah, he's gonna pull him, pull him out. Alright, so they're stuck up there. So the BMW has to come down, get unstuck from the edge there, and then get pulled up again through the center. Okay, I don't know how much we got on video, but we got all three vehicles out. Yeah, they all got stuck at one point or another. Yeah, and so now we picked up we picked up a couple of off-roaders, two Mercedes, and we're gonna go to Bodie okay. Ghost Town if we ever make it. Looks <laughs> like my message. Yeah, my message to Tony went out. Fine. We're not even to where you and I went yet. Uh-uh, nope. I that far yet. This is where we got stuck. Yeah. Definitely is uh, not as bad as it was when we went by on Friday. I mean, because honestly, if any of us get stuck, It'll just be like, we'll just need a little tug, you know, so it's not like those guys. Whoa, there we go. <laughs> Got a little stuck. There he goes. It just has to get to where that dirt is. Transmission. Doesn't have a locker on the back because the one back tire is not turning. Back is locked. Locked? Yep. Yeah. Okay. 
There you go. Got stuck in there. You'd never know it, huh? Uh, <laughs> I didn't put my the the strap. Yeah, this is deep right here. Yeah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, we get these drifts. We had we got stuck in the All right. <laughs> it's a pretty big snow drift mm -hmm. up there. He's gonna try a different path. Yeah. I think I'll be fine. He's getting stuck again. <laughs> All right, here goes everything. Everybody ready? Ready. Might be nice to get the one tire at least on there. Just to give us a little traction. We turn them off? It's here down. Yeah. Okay, we just here down and uh, got about six miles, five and a half miles to go to get to the ghost town. It's about two, I think, something like that. So, 130. We make it. This has been an adventure. <laughs> I don't know how long have we spent with those vehicles, but it feels like two hours uh, almost. You had two just regular SUVs that had no business being back here. So, it was crazy getting them turned around. At this point, I don't even know what, how much content we got, but uh, so we're gonna be marching on now. We'll see if we make it to the ghost town today. All right, we're on our way again. A little less air in the tires. Look, it's going to be a crazy achievement if we make it to the ghost town. <laughs> now it's like just, we got to do it. Two days. <laughs> now it's like we've, like we've been through so much that we need to get there. I've got both lockers on. I mean, it doesn't look that deep, but because this snow up here, it's always snowing in the mountains, so it's snowing and melting and snowing and You've got a lot of ice underneath this. It's been a lot now. Back and forth. Stuck. 
I think he's just wondering if we can go on or not. Are you stuck? All right, babe. There goes nothing. Okay, so we switched places because the Mercedes was getting stuck, and we're going to see if we can do any better. Bouncing. I think he'll be fine once you. I mean, once you get up that little hill right here, and then he'll slide down. <laughs> we may never make it to the ghost town this trip. We've tried and tried. I don't want to get too close over to the to the side. I'm starting to spin over on the side. I need to I need to go back more and try to get more of a running start. <laughs> what do you think? How many miles do we have? About five. I don't know. If you take it off of um, whatever, then we'll be able to see. But it feels like five more. Yeah, dump like, down. Yeah. I don't think we're going to make it. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> what a bummer! <laughs> Yeah, if we had the chains on. I wonder if these guys have chains. Do we have to air up then again? Okay, it's gotta go like to here. So yeah, yeah. they're like that. And then down. There you, go. there you go. Let's come push that down while I pull that up right here. Go push that in. Yeah. More. Almost there you go. Yeah. Okay. Woo. <laughs> All right. I'll go forward with Yep. Got the chains on. All right, we're gonna try four wheel drive high and see if we can get a little more speed and see what happens. I 
I've been fine after I made the tracks. Yeah. So this has been no lockers. gonna make it to ghost town today no. this is like the twilight zone if anybody knows what the twilight zone is yeah at this rate and we have like five more miles to go whatever that is It was a fail. We put the chains on, and I don't know, it was just the way the snow is, it seemed not, it really even helped. It seemed like it didn't do any better with the chains on than it was in low. I tried four drive low and high. Didn't want to spin the tires too much with the chains on there, or spin them at too high RPMs. As long as you've got a track, it's smooth sailing. And uh, once I made a track for these guys, they were able to you know climb up the mountain but I just couldn't get any further we were just you know I mean if you wanted to spend all day I, I, I never got stuck I was always able to go backwards and then go forwards again but that's you know one it would take us a long time and two that's you know I'm probably gonna overheat my transmission doing that so so no ghost town I'll post a couple of pictures of the ghost town <laughs> That's as close as we're getting. <laughs> Strike two. Strike two. But it was fun. We helped some people. They were really appreciative. appreciative. Yeah. Mean, all of them came back, walked back, and thanked us. And yeah, they were nice. Now it's just muddy. It wasn't mud like this when we came in though, was it? It was muddy, but was it? it's muddier. <laughs> this was an adventure. We used our winch today. We spent, I don't know, an hour getting those SUVs turned around. I would say almost two. Yeah, maybe. At least an hour and a half. But, you know, they were all super nice. Oh, they were. So it was a pleasure to help them out. Yeah. It was nice to get them out of here. Yeah. So they didn't have to get, you know, a wrecker or somebody to come out. I don't know who would have even got them. But, yeah, because supposedly you know, they called uh, for assistance. They didn't tow. Get so, yeah. We didn't see it. So it was nice to be, you know, we've got recovery gear and we've got a winch and we were pretty prepared. We knew that it might be kind of sketchy because we came back a couple of days ago. So we had told a friend, hey, we're going back. This is the time we're going back. If you don't hear from us by a certain time, four o'clock this afternoon, contact Mono County Sheriff and let them know that we're stuck back here somewhere because there's no cell service back here. But uh, you know, we got as far as we could and couldn't get any further. But we had, we had sleeping bags and we've got a ham radio, we've got food, we've got water and uh, pretty well equipped, you know. So we try to be as planned as we can, as prepared as we can, but it was fun, it was still fun. All right, we're aired back up, so we're gonna head back to Mammoth Lakes, get something to eat. We've had enough adventure for today. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please uh, like it and help us grow the channel by subscribing. Thank you very much, see you next time, bye-bye.